Welcome to The Holistic Entrepreneur with Holistic Nurse Practitioner, Success Coach, and Best-Selling Author, Bonnie Gressel. Bonnie and her expert guests share tips, tools, and strategies to achieve success on your holistic entrepreneur journey. Each show features answers to common entrepreneur challenges, along with a healthy dose of support and motivation. Now, please welcome the host of The Holistic Entrepreneur, Bonnie Gressel. Welcome, everyone. This is your host, Bonnie Gressel, here at The Holistic Entrepreneur. Now, today we're going to do a Biz Bites with Bonnie, and we're going to talk about what you really do believe. And we're going to get to that in just a moment. But first, I always want to take time to tell you how much I appreciate you, all of you, taking time out of your precious day to spend time here with me on the show. I am just so honored that you do that. Now, I know that time is our most precious asset, so I want to make sure that these shows are always a value-packed so that you feel your time was well spent. And I say this all the time, but I'm going to say it again. I think being a holistic entrepreneur is really more about who you are than what you do for a living. You know, you come from that heart-centered place. You want to make a difference in the world. You love helping others live their dream. And perhaps that's you. And that's why you've decided to join us on the show today. So if this is your first time listening, welcome. And if you've tuned in before, welcome back. I hope that you find this will be another great show with insights to help you on your entrepreneur journey. Now, take time to check out the show page before you leave because there's always a gift for you there and there's links to connect with me either on Facebook or on my website or send me an email. I would love to hear from you. And perhaps you have a message to share. You know, I always love having guests on the show. I The people I've been able to meet over the past few years, oh my goodness, I just love this. So reach out to me if you would like to share your message and be a guest on the show. I put my schedule link on the show page below so that you can chat with me about that if you like. So let's get into our topic for today. Do you believe? Do you believe in you? I mean, do you believe in yourself? Do you know in your heart that you can do it? Or is there fear of failure or maybe success? Fear of the unknown. Oh my goodness, fear is such a big thing. So there's all kinds of fears. But you also might be struggling a bit, as many new entrepreneurs do, with your level of self-worth and confidence. You know, confidence in who you are and what you do. There are so many elements that influence our beliefs. Because when it comes right down to it, I mean, there's all this stuff in the background, but then it, it really affects, do you believe you can do this or not? And then there's all the beliefs that we have in our subconscious mind. We, have all, we all have limiting beliefs from experiences we've had. Many of these come from childhood. That's just life. That's the way life is. You know, as kids, we start out pretty good. And then people start telling us, oh, don't do this. Be careful. You know, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. And most of the, the things that people say to us, our parents and teachers and people of authority in, in our minds, is primarily to protect us, but it leaves some um, limiting beliefs behind. And then sometimes we do hear negative things or have negative experiences. We hear things like, you can't do that, or it'll never work, or rich people aren't nice people. All of those things, all of those things get tucked away in our subconscious mind and truly affect our lives as adults. You know, It's been said, and and the research shows, that 95% of what we say, do, think, and feel every day is driven by what's in that subconscious mind, that huge piece of the iceberg. You know, I often use an analogy of an iceberg when talking about the mind because most people can imagine what an iceberg looks like, right? They've seen that before. Well, our mind is kind of like that. That top part of the iceberg, the part that sticks out of the water that you can see, that you know is there, that's really like your conscious mind. We know what's what's there. But then there's that huge piece of the iceberg under the surface of the water that we don't even know is there. That's like our subconscious mind. And everything is in there. Everything we've experienced is in there. The good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. And limiting beliefs can hold us back in our lives today. So if you think that limiting beliefs are holding you back, and we don't have time to talk about that on the show today, but if you think that's an issue for you, you know, seek help. Find someone to help you 
you know, deal with those limiting beliefs, those subconscious beliefs. There's all different things that you can do because that can be keeping you stuck. Now, reflect on, now this you can do. You don't have to necessarily, you know, work with a professional to do this, but take a moment or a few moments and just reflect on this. How do you really feel about yourself? How much do you love yourself? Do you love yourself conditionally? Like when I have a good hair day or, or when I do this, that, or the other thing, then I'll love myself. Or do you love yourself unconditionally? Which means you love yourself just the way you are, warts and all, but you are okay with who you are. How about your self-worth? How do you feel in that arena? Do you feel that you're worthy that the, of the best that life has to offer for you? And then there's the level of self-confidence. You know, no one in the whole world does what you do in the way you do it. Nobody. You're the only one. You are an expert at what you do, no matter really what it is, because everyone has their own unique way of providing that. So think about you and reflect on that. And then think about what you think about. Think about what you expect. You know, what are your dominant thoughts? Can you see yourself succeeding? Do you truly believe it? Can you actually feel it? Can you feel like you're already there? Having the success that whatever success is to you, having that, being there already, even though it's not in your physical environment right now, can you feel like you're there? Can you pretend that you're there? You know, pretending as if is one of the strategies that often people use to just change that mindset. Pretend as if, as if I'm already there, as if this is already happening. You know, I often say that belief is the best gift that you can give yourself. And really, belief in yourself, only you can give to you. And it's a choice. I mean, other people tend to have more confidence in us than we do in ourselves. We tend to be our own worst critic. And why is that? You know, I think, and this is just a Bonnieism, I think it goes back to what we were talking about before. Your level of self-love. How okay are you with you? How much do you love yourself? How worthy do you, do you feel? How much confidence do you truly have? How we feel about us is so critically important to what we think about and what we expect. Now, to me, belief that you can do anything, which I happen to believe in, starts with self-love. It starts with accepting who you are and being happy with you. And I often ask people to reflect on this. And this, so this is a little exercise you might want to just sort of play around with this week. I ask people, would you really like to hang out with you? Think about that for a moment. Would you like feel, you know, good and have fun and feel like it's good energy if you were hanging out with you? Well, if you don't feel like you'd have fun or have good, feel good hanging out with you, then take a look at what kind of energy you're putting out there. You know, it's really simple, but simple is not the same as easy, right? So think about that for a bit. So your success work this week is to reflect on all this. I mean, this mindset stuff is so critical to moving forward and being successful. You know, whatever success is to you, whatever your, your outcome is that you want to achieve, your goal, whatever. You know, maybe it's a, a different um, lifestyle. Maybe it's, it's financial. It's your health. It's whatever. But your success work is to just take some time and think about this. Because, you know, as entrepreneurs, there's so much to do and so much to learn. And we don't often take the time to just reflect on this. Now, are there things that you need to work on? As you're pondering this for a bit, are there limiting beliefs that you need to deal with? Are there changes you need to make in your surrounding? You know, think about who you spend time with. Are you getting good energy from your surroundings and those around you? And then internally, are you sending yourself good energy? Or is there some negativity there, some bad vibes, some, oh, this will never work kind of stuff? You know, as an entrepreneur, there is so much, but I 
can't emphasize this enough, how important doing this is. And once you do it, it doesn't mean like you're done. You never have to do it again. I periodically go through these little exercises to just really make sure that I'm still on track because it affects everything. So take some time this week to ponder that. Begin reflecting on how you feel about you and what you really believe. Because the truth of the matter is, you can do anything if you believe. And I know I said that every week, but you can. So think about that. And I'll see you next week. But until then, just check in on your belief system in terms of what you truly, honestly believe. And you can do anything if you believe. You've been listening to The Holistic Entrepreneur, hosted by Bonnie Gressel. The Holistic Entrepreneur has been brought to you by m and Global Solutions, your source for individualized coaching for entrepreneurs and authors, along with book editing and publishing services. To learn more, go to m and